Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own loaded mashed potato bowls. These are very similar to the one you get at KFC. You know, the loaded mashed potato with the beans, the corn, the sauce, um, and the chicken. Uh, this dish is actually inspired because June just got his wisdom teeth removed so he can't eat any hard right now. So this mashed potato bowl will keep him nutriated and also as well so he can bite on it because he can't eat anything hard. Mashed potato is very soft, you can pretty much just like have this food melt in your mouth. So these are the ingredients you need. Um, you can be as creative as you want. It's like customizing your own bowl. But I generally just use mashed potatoes, the chicken, corn, um, the beans, some green onions, and cheese. And I already went ahead and mashed my own potato. Um, Maybe I'll make a separate video for this because this is actually kind of harder process. But the key is just to make it add, like the perfect amount of creamy, add in the right amount of water, milk, and butter, season it all with salt and pepper, and that's pretty much all you need to make like a really good mashed potato base. So mashed potato is already done. I'm going to teach you how to make your own gravy, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook my chicken. Usually this dish, like KFC, the chicken bowl, um, the mashed potato bowl, it's fried chicken, um, but. I'm going to keep it healthy for him because I don't know if he can handle fried food right now. So, of course, you can go ahead and fry your own chicken. But I'm going to grill this chicken instead as well as I'm going to grill the corn and the uh, beans, season a little bit. And then we're just going to all put it together. And this dish is also great for meal prepping because look how much mashed potato I have. I can definitely portion it out so that he can have different meals throughout the week until his teeth heals up and can eat more solidified food. So, um, let's start with key, um, cooking the chicken because that's going to take a while to cook as well as do the uh, gravy and because these two just saute it, it's gonna be very fast so let's get started all right guys so you see in these pans over here the big one I'm gonna add in the brief beef broth just gonna add all of it to it okay and then for the chicken, I'm going to add in some of my extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to let both these heat up before I do anything else. Right, so it looks like the oil is uh, definitely heated up. I'm going to add in the chicken. I'm going to grill that. This is very simple seasoning. Salt and pepper on the chicken. And for the gravy, I'm actually going to add a little bit of milk in there to make it a little bit more uh, creamy. Once that cook together, we're going to add a tad bit of salt in here, as well as a little bit of black pepper. Just gonna make sure the chicken's cooked and let that boil. Milk into that is so the gravy will taste a little bit milkier. So we want to make it thick. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of the cornstarch. And I'm just gonna add in a teensy bit of water. Do that, and then we're gonna mix this until it becomes a slurry. Okay, just make sure it's evenly mixed. I'm gonna add that in and basically it'll magically start to solidify a little bit to more of the gravy consistency we're so used to. Just gonna let that keep grilling because chicken takes a while to cook thoroughly. So I actually took the chicken to the side and cut it even smaller pieces because uh, he you really can't chew on anything, but this option to make it even smaller is great for like making this bowl for little kids because kids tend to not want to um, chew or bite that well for like really little kids. I see a lot of parents when they go to certain restaurants, they always come for food for children. So making these for like kids, cutting it up smaller pieces of chicken like this is perfect. So on the side over here, we're going to start grilling the beans. Add a little bit of pepper. I think everything's salty enough. We don't want to over salt this. So I'm just going to grill this a little bit, give it a little bit of char. Add a little bit more of olive oil to this. Okay. Alright guys, so the chicken is cooked. We're gonna put that on, on the side dish. So is the beans. You see this is starting to solidify a little bit. Okay. We're gonna 
use that to also saute the um, corn as well. And I'm going to go ahead and get my beans on the side plate too. There you go. Some grilled beans. Saute the corn a little bit. I'm going to add some black pepper. Alright, everything is coming together slowly but surely. I'm going to add some chicken flavoring into this for more flavor. Mommy. Mm, that's good. Just pretty much saute for like a minute or so. It's already done. You don't need to do much with the corn. Corn already tastes so good on its own. I love corn. Put on the dish. Okay, and we're going to put the gravy else also plated so we can construct everything together. Alright guys, it is time to construct our mashed potato bowls. So, every bowl going to definitely load up on the mashed potato. Oh yeah, that's a good chunk of mashed potato right there. Yummy. I love mashed potato. It's so good. Alright, super creamy mashed potatoes. Now we're going to load up on the chicken for each bowl. I think this one will add a little bit more. So that's some chicken. Beans is very nutritious, by the way. It has so much nutrients. I'm leaving salt on the side to make myself a mini bowl because I, I haven't ate yet, but this is all for him. Okay, I'm gonna top it off with some green onions. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna add in our mashed, our house-made gravy. That perfect consistency, in my opinion, if I do say so myself. Mmm, it's just to cover this, smother it in gravy. Yum. I love gravy. Okay. And now, cheese. Top it off with some cheese. There you have it. These are my loaded mashed potato bowls. There it is. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me get a close up on that for you. All right, guys. Ooh, I smell the cheese. Okay, I'm just gonna violate one of his bowls here and just dig in and try it out. Let's get a little bit of everything here. Ooh, look at this bite. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know, and um, if you try it out, send it to my email, reinahuang 95 yahoocom and I'll feature you in the next um, cooking video. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.